This is Stefan Schmidt for InsiderIowa.com. We're at the maintenance shop at Iowa State University. Um, Iowa is the place to be. The election of 210 is over, and uh, we're now going to 2012. What happens in 2012? The Iowa caucuses. The Iowa First in the Nation presidential caucuses are the go-to event, and here in Ames, Iowa, the summer before the caucuses, we actually will have the Iowa Republican straw poll, which is a fun event, doesn't mean anything, but uh, lots of money is spent on it. People go and eat good food and their bands and all the people who want to be president come to Ames to try and see if they can talk people into voting for them. Speaking of which, uh, I've got a list here on my iPad of the people that are already being mentioned for president on the Republican Party side, thanks to the Iowa Republican, which is a terrific publication. Um, of course, who is first on their website? Yes, you're right, Sarah Palin. Um, the question is, is Sarah Palin going to run for president? Um, and I think the answer is probably yes. Uh, she's got more buzz than anyone. She is uh, uh, someone who can't stay out of the limelight and People say, but she's making so much money. She's got shows, and she's got books, and she's got a book tour, and she's got a talk show. Why would she want to stop that? And the answer is this. Because running for president of the United States is like running for Superman. It's the most powerful position in the world right now. Well, maybe. Maybe the prime minister, president of China, is more powerful. But... You can't help yourself if people say, run, Sarah, run. She won't be able to help herself. She will, she will run. She'll come to Iowa. Um, and, of course, she'll have a lot of competition. Uh, Mike Huckabee is next on the list. He did very well last time in Iowa. Uh, a likable guy. Um, softer edge. Um, name recognition is terrific. And he certainly is... Um, someone who's well connected to the Iowa conservative establishment. Um, I understand that he's pretty good friends with uh, Mr. Van der Plaats, who tried to run for governor, uh, didn't quite get nominated, uh, but he's got a good connection down into the conservative base of the party, and that's always very helpful. Minnesota Governor uh, Tim Pawlenty is next uh, on our list here, our neighbor to the north. Uh, those regional uh, connections often make a difference. People feel comfortable with somebody uh, from Minnesota, and he has been in Iowa many times, and I expect to see him here also uh, very frequently. Uh, by the way, Tim Pawlenty has $1.3 million in his political action committee, the uh, Freedom First PAC. Um, that's not bad money uh, this early in the process, and he'll be able to use that to uh, generate lots of travel, name recognition, events, and other things. Former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney, of course, is an intriguing individual, uh, kind of a social moderate, uh, fiscal moderate, actually. And the question is, is that where the Republican Party really needs to go? Or do they want to stick with the edgy or conservatives uh, who can make uh, people excited and cheer? Do they want someone who can say, um, boy, if I'd become president in 2008, I would have already fixed the economy and created jobs and stabilized everything. I am a former governor, businessman, president of the uh, Olympics. I fixed all of those places pretty well, and I can do the same for you. You want to give me another chance here and give me a head start in Iowa? I think Mitt Romney has the possibility of doing that, and of course he has very deep pockets. Mitt Romney is not only quite wealthy, but has raised a lot of money already. He's thinking about $50 million, uh, which is a good change. Not chump change, as they say. Uh, he's a little bit probably um, too moderate. Um, in Iowa, the conservatives uh, have an edge during the caucuses, Republican conservatives, and so Romney needs to strengthen his base with them. Um, Congressman Ron Paul, uh, of course, always in the news, and Newt Gingrich, the former speaker, actually he was here uh, just about uh, 100 yards from where I'm standing a couple of days ago uh, doing a gigantic book signing for his new book. Um, big crowd, uh, Newt Gingrich, former speaker of the house, uh, is a 
money machine. He has a ton of money. He has a lot of uh, nonprofit groups that he's running around the country with. And he is definitely someone who's interested in running. Finally, Rick Santorum, former Pennsylvania senator, South Dakota Senator John Thune, uh, an intriguing individual um, who is not very well known. But you know, sometimes the Iowa caucuses can give that unknown individual that wonderful platform where they can break out and actually uh, beat the pack. Um, and then there are a few others, uh, Texas Governor Rick Perry um, and a couple of others name, names that have popped up. What does all this mean? There are not going to be any hotel rooms available anywhere in Iowa as the caucuses approach. Um, the restaurants are going to be packed. And the Iowa economy is going to boom because 2012 is going to be one of the best, most exciting, most interesting Iowa caucuses uh, in my 40 years of doing analysis. This is Stefan Schmidt for InsiderIowa.com.